Welcome everybody to another edition of In the, In the Divine, where we're bringing all things crypto together in Algorand. I've been out, had some traveling to do, but I want to bring this to you today because of course, all around the country, all around the world, things are happening. But this here is gonna be Pacific to a Pacific thing in the crypto that I have I've been aware of for a while. Understand this is not a financial advice. Whatever bag you hold in, you know, it's your bag. And I'm just trying to provide you with some, hopefully, some thoughtful advice, uh, thoughtful um, perspectives on some of the things that you may be interested in hearing in the market that we're in. This is specifically for Bitcoiners. Everybody knows Bitcoin is the big dog on the block. Bitcoin is one of the ones that, you know, when you talk about crypto, that's pretty much what most of the people be, are going to recognize or think that you're talking about when you are talking about crypto. Then you'll get to Ethereum and some of the others, but for all coins, the mainstream doesn't understand and doesn't really get, grasp this. Why am I saying about Bitcoin? Bitcoiners are the religious zealots of the crypto sphere. Understand this, um, everybody in their own community, of course, they want their community, the coin, the whatever they are, they want that investment to grow. But I want to say this because you got some of the Bitcoin purists out there the ones that's out there that's true libertarian, where we think Bitcoin should be uh, a total uh, separation, where it, it gives us in, uh, a total privacy from uh, Big Brother, that we are able to do transactions freely and without, um, without impeding without being able to identify ourselves. These are the ones that think that the, the archaic, the nature of being able to do things unabashed behind the black, black velvet cloak where personal identifying information is not needed. These people don't understand for Bitcoin in the purist that thinks the operation of this will achieve optimal adoption, that will never be. You will only have a select group of one percenters that will only want this to move their money behind the cloak of darkness, have total anonymity and privacy with moving funds because you have to understand the way the economy works. This is not the way, this is not a transactional um, blockchain. Bitcoin is not a transactional blockchain. Um, people call it digital property, digital gold. But the reason why we don't trade in gold is because it's not practical. You can keep coins, uh, gold, bits of gold, gold nuggets and take it for value and send it places and buy things with it because you couldn't break it. You had to give it all. So it's, it was an all or nothing proposition. And that's where some of the Bitcoin purists are. They're all or nothing because these new pe people that come on, they're tainting the project, they're tainting the legacy of what Bitcoin Satoshi uh, wanted it to be. And then, of course, you got the other people that is on the, the, the zealots that think Bitcoin is the only, it's the alpha and omega. And every other coin is a dirty derivative, a, 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 
unwanted stepchild of what the original coin is and shouldn't be in the same sphere and stratosphere of what Bitcoin is because it is the first. It's the purest, it's, it's, it's the infallible, it's the one that everyone needs. Everything revolves around it to them. And that is true in some nature. It is the first, it always will be the first. And in that, it has a specific and original designation that no one can ever take away from it. But as a technology for what it's built for, it wasn't built to be a transactional network. That's why other blockchains are needed for mass adoption. Bitcoin by itself is never going to be capable of mass adoption. It's going to be only a niche thing that purists, anarchists, and those who are seeking to avoid and want to avoid the transactional history of above board um, uh, transactions. Most of America, most of the world is not. They're transactional. And to be transactional, global transactional, you need transaction speed, which Bitcoin does not have. That's why it tries to partner with the Lightning Network and all these other things. So what I'm truly trying to get at is why do Bitcoiners try to piss on other coins? When truly Bitcoin is gonna need other coins other technology for it to truly reach where it should or where it wants to go. Because at its current place, it will be a dinosaur in the museum. Not that you forget, but you see and you point to the dinosaur. I remember that was the first one we saw. I want all the communities of all the coins that work I want you to understand, even in bear markets, this crypto market is working like our traditional market should work. If something doesn't work, it should die. It shouldn't be bailed out. Their Luna is trying to be bailed out by VC or people who don't want to see it. Its model was broken. They're going to try to resuscitate that try to pump more money so they can avoid losing all. I understand that. But what the market does is the market should show what's weak. But I'm here because I believe in Algorand being in position to do some things that is needed in this market. Let me show you something. So with Bitcoin, it needs a partner. It already has a partner. How El Salvador actually runs on Algorand, not Bitcoin. They have already started testing Bitcoin as a currency. Knowing it can't run on Bitcoin, knowing the other networks that it's trying to use as a pay mechanism, one of the central things that Algorand is for is for beating the trilemma. And because it's already started, by the time next year comes, you're going to have a year of information of how this works in a civilian population run on Algorand. And you don't hear all the bumps and bruises of what's going on in the out. It's actually running. It's gonna be able to scale up because Bitcoin is gonna need Algorand. It's gonna need that layer two. It's gonna need something more for the mass adoption that is gonna be needed for it to actually manifest into being in transition and knock out some of the traditional markets that still exist, some of the old heads in the game. We need that. Algorand is that layer one. Bitcoin needs Algorand. SEC filing reveals new Bitcoin ETF tokenized on Algorand. 
telling you right now, all you Bitcoiners who are purists and are you zealous to think that Bitcoin is the one and only. It is the first, but it won't be the only. It cannot exist as the only. It has to have this technology, which is truly, truly what it needs to transcend, transcend the state where it's correlated to the stock market. Because until all the transactions, until people actually start transacting on here as a global, then guess what's going to happen? Then the masses and the whales won't have the the manipulation aspect of Bitcoin, because even if the wealthy elite has a lot of money, they only can move it so much because the more masses that have their money, the the the, the non one percenters, guess what? They're only going to be able to move it so much because guess what's going to happen is because the masses have all their money and the transactions are coming in at, a, at a, such a pace that this is about to change the history of money i'm telling you right now money in the paper money it's almost gone it's been ate up through inflation And we don't trust the dollar like we used to trust it. Not the physical dollar, because that's why most people use credit cards and debit cards, is because now we've been transitioned off of paper money and have been on digital money for many, many years now. We've become used to digital money. No more checks, no more cash. It's digital. We don't even know it yet because it hasn't truly finally switched over into the realm where paper money is going to be an eyesore. No more printing money, which costs money to keep, to maintain, to hold, to house. Now you're going to get into digital, which now you're going to be able to store cheaply, efficiently. There's things that's coming and things that you need to prepare yourself for. I'm trying to get you to understand that crypto is the way forward. Mass adoption, we, doesn't, we don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know the winners and the losers, but I do know digital currency is not leaving because the banks and the governments, they see the way forward and they know it's possible. Whether it's gonna be a central bank or it's gonna be DeFi, crypto has just rang the bell for digital currency to now replace the fiat currency. You heard it here, you heard it here. I don't know if you heard it here first, but I wanted you to hear it here. But this is Sam. I'm telling you right now, I'm hoping your tomorrows be better than your today. And I'm out.